ChatGPT could now create an entire PowerPoint slideshow, an entire presentation with a simple text prompt. Let me show you the step-by-step -step process, and I'll show you a couple of different resources too to make your slideshows even better. The first thing you need is ChatGPT Plus. So if you only have the free version of ChatGPT, you need to click over here and you need to upgrade to Plus. This will give you a whole library of plugins. So we're gonna use one of these plugins that actually creates our PowerPoint presentation in PowerPoint format. Okay, I jumped into my ChatGPT Plus account here and first we need to make sure that plugins are activated. So if you go down here and press the three dots, you could actually go to settings and beta here. And here, if you go to beta, you will see something called plugins. You could also turn on code interpreter. This is another thing I'm gonna show you in a second to actually make really powerful images for your slides. So make sure both of these are turned on. I'm gonna exit here. Then what you need to do is go to GPT-4 and then click this drop down right here to turn on plugins. We're gonna go ahead and turn these on and then click this drop down. You probably won't see anything turned on at this point. So go to the plugin store if this is the first time you're using plugins and look for smart slides. This is the plugin we're gonna use. It looks like this and then just press install here. So let me just uninstall it for mine. If you press install, it's gonna install it in your library. Then it's gonna bring you over here where you have to request a code. So I'm gonna type in my email and request a code. And then you could authorize that plugin. Now, all you have to do is press this drop down and make sure on any install plugin you have that you have a check mark next to smart slide. Now I have a couple of other ones that I've made videos about, but right now all we need is this one checked on. And right now I could create my slideshow with a text prompt. So let me show you the prompt I want you to use here. I'll put it on screen. So here's the formula, create a PowerPoint presentation about, and then you insert the topic that you want the presentation to be about because it's gonna generate the text. And then you're gonna say to use for, and then you could insert your goal. So just to give you an example, mine is create a PowerPoint presentation about, and my topic is why we should use AI at my company. And then the goal is to help convince my team that it's a useful tool, right? I cover 50, 60 different AI tools, for example, that I implement in different ways in my day to day. So I wanna convince my team that they should learn those things too. So I'm gonna press send message over here. And as long as that smart slides is activated, it's just going to know when you say create a PowerPoint presentation to activate it. I'm gonna press the drop down to show you what it's doing. It's actually right now writing out everything the slideshow is going to have. So you can kind of see in real time what it's doing, the different headings, the contents, or you could just leave it like this. You don't even need to see what's going on because in a second, we're going to get this option right here to download it. So it created that slideshow presentation on the topic. And right here, it says you could download the presentation here. Now I'm gonna press this option right here. And right over here, it just downloaded it. So on your Mac or PC, it's going to be in your downloads folder. So all you have to do, as you can see, this is a PPTX. This is an actual PowerPoint presentation. So as long as you have PowerPoint installed, which I'm assuming you have installed on your computer, you could go ahead and open this. And this is gonna give you the entire PowerPoint presentation, but it's gonna need a little bit of work to actually make this more presentable. But let me just show you what it created for me. Now, let me go to slide two here. So what it did is it created all these slides. In this case, it created about seven different slides and each one has this heading and it has different bullet points to explain the benefits. And again, these are fully customizable or you could just give it more in the prompt. So I just said create a PowerPoint presentation and kept it brief. You could give a ton of information there to make this better. Now, let me show you a few things. One is this is going to have a watermark in some cases. So you see I have a watermark over here and I have a watermark over here. So I will need to remove that obviously. So you could go to view over here and you could go to your master slides. And if you go to the slide masters, this is inside a PowerPoint here. You could actually go ahead and press this option. It says hide background graphic. If you hide this, you see these watermarks are going to go away. So they have that option available for us. So then I could go ahead and exit that and now I have no watermark. Next, the design is not great, right? This is kind of text-based PowerPoint creation. So I could click here. PowerPoint actually has an AI designer. It's had it for a long time, but it's getting better and better with the power of AI. Microsoft is using AI more and more. So that's up here. If you click this option or just look for it in the help section, basically it's going to give you a ton of different layouts that you could choose from. So for example, this one actually makes more sense because then I could drop 
maybe an image over here, right? Or I could go and pick one of these, for example. Now, this one, maybe I wanna add an image here. So let me show you some options for images because this is good for text, this is good for editing text, but you're gonna need images typically in a PowerPoint presentation. I'm gonna give you a few different options here. So here, this is Bing Image Creator. So bing.com slash create lets you actually type in a text, create images, save those, drop it into PowerPoint. It's not the best tool out there. Mid Journey, which is another AI text to image creator, is far better, but that is a paid option. That doesn't have free options, but I'll go ahead and link a video below to show you how to use Mid Journey if you wanna learn that too. So those are your options for turning text into images for your PowerPoint. Let me show you one more option. Your other option is using a stock photo library. Now this one I like because you could actually pay for licensing and it's an all-in-one. So you could basically pay a monthly fee and you get access to all these for one price and they have millions of images you could choose from. So you could see, you could actually filter these by ton of different filters available. Just for example, to get one person here, 1.6 million options, landscape, 5 million options. And this has a really great search tool here and a lot of different filters to get exactly what you're looking for. So if you're doing this for a PowerPoint presentation that needs to be seen externally, this is a good way because then you actually have permission and these are copyright protected and you're getting a license to use them. So this is kind of the safest way to go if you're using this for more professional reasons and not just an internal team meeting, for example. So I wanted to show you that. And last thing, I'm gonna start a new chat here and this time I'm gonna go to GPT-4 and I'm gonna turn on Code Interpreter. And with Code Interpreter, basically you get this plus sign where you could upload files. So if you have any documents that have numbers in them, you could turn those into charts and graphs to use inside of your presentation. It's gonna do all the creation for you. I'll just show you one example, and I have a complete video on this option that I'll link below as well. Here's a CSV file here, and I'm just gonna say, create five graphs to show the most important takeaways, right? There's ton of different things you could type here. Again, in that more complete code interpreter video, I'll show you about a hundred different ways you could talk to Code Interpreter. But I'll just show you basically the results you get out of this as long as you have Code Interpreter activated. And Code Interpreter basically is gonna analyze everything in that document I gave it, and it's gonna create these type of individual images here. So these are the different charts that I asked it to create for me. It did some analysis and it has all these here that I could download. So all I have to do is I could just right click on any of these and save this image drop it into PowerPoint with any other slides that are relevant, make a new slide if I want. And just like that, ChatGPT just helped me really save a lot of time creating these PowerPoint presentations completely from scratch. And as you could see, AI could be really powerful if you know how to basically combine a lot of different elements. So because of that, we created with my team an entire learning platform to actually learn and implement AI in the most effective ways. And not just ChatGPT, but right now we have different courses and tutorials on the top 50 different AI tools. And these are very practical, very to the point to save you a lot of time and save you a lot of effort in doing things just like I showed you in this video, but in a lot of different use cases. I'll go ahead and link that below in the description. I hope this tutorial saves you a lot of time and I'll see you next time.